and welcome to the final, Pakistan versus South Africa. We here in Saja, the Coca-Cola Cup 2000 will be taken away by someone today. The crowd is beginning to uh, fill up this ground, the atmosphere is going to be good I'm sure and uh, well I think once again Saja is going to see some extremely good cricket. So the umpires out in the centre, Daryl Harper and Peter Manuel. The third umpire today is John Hampshire. The match referee is Roman Savaro. And uh, the weather is fine and warm. It's pretty hot in the centre. Play is about to get underway. South Africa, as you know, have lost the toss. They're in the field. Pakistan are doing what they wanted to do. They are batting first on the pitch that's uh, had just a little bit more bounce in it than uh, the one alongside it. Very grey looking pitch, but also uh, very shiny. Uh, you haven't seen a pitch as shiny as this since uh, Sabina Park in about the 70s. Oh, that's a good shot. Brilliant shot. Wasn't that short. One bounce and it's over the boundary rope. Pakistan 12 without loss. Just short of third man. Oh, a late decision there to dive. Well, that's a lovely shot. Gee, I like this bloke. I think he's got tremendous potential. Now, that really is a cracking shot. It has class written all over it. Well, he's hit this one well. Six. smash it no matter what anyone says that was short outside off stump he got a little optimistic good at backward point Haywood at third man 50 to Imran Nazir Got 71. That's his highest score. Now he's got a second 50. So uh, Imran Nazir showing a lot of promise here. He's played shots all around the ground. He hasn't been overshadowed by Afridi. Very good strike rate. Oh, beautifully hit. Just going down the leg side. Afridi looking to uh, whack that one away over the side and he's got four leg buys. In swing for Jacques Cullis and this must have been awfully close. That'll be another four. So the 100 comes up in the 18th over. There's two te different techniques required bowling to these two. You can't give a Freddy any room at all. 
He's got to bowl a little straight to him and back of a length. Jacques Cullis knows that he's erred on this occasion. Long chase. And no chance there. Varfridi's timed it beautifully. And they're picking the gaps today, the Pakistani batsmen. Prior to this uh, particular game, they seem to have been finding the fielders. And there's the 54, Shahid Afridi. A very good one of 46 balls. Oh, that's well played. Kept it fine and got it away from the third man, Fieldsman. That's up in the air. And magnificently taken. That is the catch of the tournament. You won't get to see too many better catches than this. Jack Cullis, the fielder. Klozner has struck with his first delivery. And a magnificent opening partnership coming to an end here. Very well played by Shahid Afridi. 123 for one. Meanwhile, Yunus Khan has come out to the centre. Another talented young Pakistani player. Down the track. And a big, big hit. That's gone for maximum. That's out. That's beautifully bowled by Crooks. Wide signal. But the third empire has been called for, and Imran Nazir, if he's short of his ground, will have to leave the ground. Yes, that looked out to me. It was very smart work by the keeper. A pre-planned stroke by Imran, and here nicely deceived by Crooks, bowling down the leg side, and that's out. So a good comeback by South Africa here. They picked up two wickets in a hurry. Both the openers now back in the pavilion. And Imran Nazir, the last man to be dismissed after a superb innings. Pakistan, 134 for two. Pakistan have just lost their second wicket, that of Imran Nazir. Good timing. Just cut off inside the boundary. So 25 overs have been bowled, 138 for two. Once again, wrapped on the pass. This time the finger goes up. South Africa are right back into this game. Klusner has picked up another wicket. 139 for three. Well, the reverse swing we were talking about. See the angle of the ball, it hits him within line and actually a very good decision. Took a long time to make a decision, but a correct one. 139 for three. Oh, good shot over the top and for four. Right, well perhaps uh, Yusuf Yohana has decided that he's got to lift the pace a little bit. Very good shot. Yes, he loves him there. He's very good on the offside, especially through the cover region. That's his area. And he's appreciating a little bit of extra. Loves him there. Oh, he's nearly killed him. He's nearly killed him. He hit that one back at him like a rocket. Have a look at that. Even he's like, <laughs> what's going on, son? That missed me by an inch. Nancy Hayward went down. What good for the cutting that was, wasn't it? You saw Nancy Hayward. <laughs> I never saw a thing. We'll come back and have a look at that in a second. 176 for three. Oh, that's beautifully hit into the gap. Terrific batting there from Yusuf Yohana. Pakistan, 184 for three. scored more runs in Sharjah than any other player and that was a beautifully timed shot to bring up the 200. Three. Gone. 
Yusuf Johanna very disappointed with his departure there. Just clipping that ball uh, straight to the South African captain. Well, that's his strength as well as his weakness, uh, playing on the onside. But a very good knock by Johanna. Well, Callis took a bit of uh, hammer early on, so he'll be delighted to pick up a victim and uh, picked it up pretty easily there. Hansi Cronier taking a straightforward catch. It's 2.04 for four. And uh, Moen Khan is the new player. He's had a bit of trouble getting off the mark uh, so far in this series. And he's been given out. Moen Khan having a bit of a horror stretch with the bat here in Charger. He's out in the 43rd over. Well, that was a very late swinging, reverse swinging, in swinging Yorker. And early on, I'm afraid any batsman would have struggled against that. You just watch, there's a late swing there now. Just there now, that's what really got Moin. Uh, actually hit him under the shoe. Um, was it uh, inside the line? Uh, I guess it was a very close decision. 2-0-9 for 5. Zuck is the new batsman. He's uh, out there now to take up the attack. Pretty talented too. If he gets going, he can play shots all around the book. Full toss and desperate effort by Crooks. That's four though. That one slightly over pitched by Hansi Kronier. Razak waiting for it. Smashed it away. Yes, that full toss was at a nice height for Abdus Razak to put it away. Oh, it's hitting high and wide. Will it go all the way? Yes, one bounce for four. Well played. They're taking advantage of the loose balls. Boys hit that one too, into the gap on the onside. Abdur Razak is playing a little gem of a knock. Just when it matters, he's turning it on. He got underneath that one. It was an attempt at a slow... Full toss. He's got it away for four. Another full toss. In Zimam. That takes him on to 45. Oh, great delivery. And a single. This could be out. Will he be run out? Oh, well, now Pollock saying he's interfered with him. Pollock complaining, saying he purposely got in his way. Well, it's always been an accepted fact that the batsman can run straight down the middle of the pitch. Well, I think it's Pollock's fault here. It's just frustration that is showing on his face. He should have been behind the stumps. And the problem is, he's not collected it. He had enough time on his hands. And the reason why he went to the Empire was more out of frustration at his mistake. Uh, here comes the ball. Well, I think that's what he's saying. He's saying that he nudged his bat at it. That's very interesting. was trying to knock the ball with the bat. <laughs> That's his half century. That's well played. Very well played. He's in good form. Oh, well bowled. Beautifully bowled by Pollock. He's rolled him over. So, having had a little altercation with him last over, he's managed to get one through his defences. But once again, a useful contribution by Nzamam. Nzamam was looking to just chip it down on the onside, but right up in the block hole. That's good bowling at the death by Sean Pollock. Good innings by Nzamam coming to an end. The Empire is still having a chat with Pollock. It's 2.56 for six. Macram on strike. He's hit that one in the air, way down towards mid wicket, bouncing away towards the fence. Will it get there? Yes, four. Yes, four. Desperate lunge down on the boundary rope, but it's gone for four. Ball of the Pakistan innings. Straight down the ground. Wasim will come back for the second. Well, that's the end of uh, a very good effort by Pakistan. South Africa will have to bat pretty well to get there. However, the pitch is good, the outfield's fast. I think we've got a good match on our hands.
264 the target for the South Africans. Herschel Gibbs is the informed batsman. He's out there in the center with McKenzie. And if South Africa have to achieve this target, they'll have to show a lot of character here. Wasim Akram on his way. And the first runs on the board. Wide signal by the umpire. First runs of the bat. That's sweetly timed. It beats Akram to the boundary. And that rest of the bat. And that's hammered off the back foot. First boundary of the South African innings. Come on, never mind. Come on, come on, man. I beg your pardon, the first for Hush. Akram continuing. That's it. Taken by Enzabam. The first wicket goes down here for South Africa. And a very important one. The inform gets dismissed. Well, they realize what a big wicket that is, and he's been probing outside that off stump. He's been inviting Herschel Gibbs to drive. Uh, do it in the first over but he's been tied down then he hit a four of Waka Yunus and he fancied this one he wasn't really in line just a little bit of movement and in Zuman, he's been safe as a house in the slips there you can tell the delight that's a very big wicket for Pakistan Herschel Gibbs departs for five 12 for one so 12 for one Herschel Gibbs the man dismissed Jacques Hallis has come out to the center played away nicely on the onside this is a certain boundary it's a good over for the South Africans 23 for one that's a good shot from Jack Callis timed it quite nicely and taken there by Mohan Khan that's a very good wicket for Pakistan and a good comeback from the young fast bowler well that was the key wicket Pakistan wanted Callas and Mohammad Akram seemed to get a lot of pace off the wicket and I might say a very slow wicket at that that ball really beat Callas for pace it seemed to be through him uh, before he adjusted his shot. Bit of extra bounce. And that's him. Very happy Mohammed Akram. South Africa, 30 for two. Oh, and nearly another chance there for Mohammed Akram. The ball being edged by the new batsman, Hansi Cronier, and it was going down. Very difficult for the keeper. I'm not even sure that it carried. Very well bowled. That's a good shot from Hansi Cronier. absolutely smashed over cover by Hansi Cronier trying to go on the attack knowing that uh, Waka was punished a bit early <laughs> safely away behind square that's a very good diving effort Ashad Khan in the deep Sikronia has obviously decided. Oh, he's gone for it. That's a big hit. It's in the stands. Oh, yes. Yeah. So catch it. Oh, a big hit. Way into the stands. Into one of those boxes up there. I want to have a look at that replay. See if anyone went for it. No one would have gone for that. It would have taken them straight through their seat. That was hit with enormous power. That is a flat six. Over the top again, that's four, that's very well played. Hansi Cronier is taking the pressure off the South Africans with some good lusty hitting. That's the end of the over, it's 84 for two. Yeah! Oh, yes, huh? He's found the gap on that occasion and the boundary. 
Not a good delivery from Shahid Afridi. Gave uh, Cronje a lot of room outside off stump. But the nimble by the Pakistan captain. That's a big hit. He's got plenty of bat in that. That's sailed over the boundary line. And a very good way to bring up his half century. Second six for the South African captain. Good innings under pressure. He goes for the big one, and that's a flat hit. One bounce over the rope. That's one of his favorite shots, Cronje. Oh, that's smashed away, and just short. Was it just short? I think it was just short. Boy, what a knock uh, Hansi Cronje is playing. He's taken a few risks, but uh, it's paid off. Well, that's down the ground, this is in the air, it won't quite get there, just short. Oh, they were all jumping around the Pakistanis, they knew how important it was for this to get to the fieldsman, for the catch to be made. Didn't quite get there. It's in the air, this is a high one, this will be a six, will it, will it be a catch? It's a six, it's a six, that's the 100 partnership. Well, for a second, it looked as if it was going to be one of those that was going to be caught just inside the fence. It kept going. What an innings Hansi Cronje is playing. That's the 100. Oh, he's had another go. This could be out. This is going to be out. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. What a breakthrough. Hansi Cronje, having done all the good work, has tried to do it once too often. Well, Tony, I think your early assessment that he could be getting tired, I think that could have played a... that could have been a factor in that because it was a shot of a guy who was exhausted, didn't want to run, and that could be a very crucial blow for South Africa. Well, he's getting a standing ovation. He's played a very entertaining knock. This is the dismissal again. Goes for it. Flat this time. And nicely caught down at square leg. Very important. 135 for three. Brooks, who fielded absolutely brilliantly uh, today, saved a lot of runs. And he's obviously been set out there for a reason. He's got an average of just 16. Just one half century. Pushing forward, opened up the gate a little bit. The ball spun back just enough, despite the fact that it's a little bit damp. He got some work on it, and that's the end of Crooks. Yes, that was a vital blow for, for Pakistan against South Africa. It's a wicket which Pakistan needed. A very good delivery by Ashad Khan. Just spun a bit, and considering that the ball is damp, for the ball to take that sort of spin, that's great bowling. Yes. That's a good shot. A very smart shot, using the bowler's pace. A handy boundary for South Africa. It's 157 for four. It's uh, well played. Boucher gave himself a little bit of room. So a couple of boundaries there will just ease the situation a little for South Africa. Yeah, seven overs without one, and then they've got consecutive boundaries. Just trying to give himself a bit of room, Mark Boucher. Well, he's done well. He's got a boundary, which is uh, perfect for South Africa. They move to 171 for four. Neil McKenzie has brought up his first half century in a one-day international. Brought it up with a boundary. There's a long off, but it's hit too far for him. Well, there's the slogger's bats come out, the heavy one. He got enough of a piece of it. I don't think it came cleanly out the middle for Mark Boucher, but he had momentum going forward. That's beautifully struck, right into the gap. Slower ball. 
and Boucher picked it straight away. There's no one in the mid-wicket area, and that's where he went for. There's a long on and a deep back. Oh, well, he's hit that pretty well, and he's found the gap, but uh, didn't need to find the gap. He's just cleared the rope. Well, that was always on. Smart play, Mark Boucher. He realised that uh, they'd gambled and kept uh, Ashad Khan on to try and keep McKenzie quiet. Catch it, and he does exactly that. So Neil McKenzie, after a long innings, has got the leading edge, and Pakistan have a much-needed wicket. Well, he'd be disappointed with that because he's done uh, the hard work, and this is where the slog time, and you need somebody who's got their eye in in these last ten overs, somebody with a score behind them and has been in for a while. Neil McKenzie was that man, and now he's played a poor shot, just hitting the leading edge, trying to run it away on the onside. So Mohan Khan has gambled correctly. He kept Ashad Khan on, leading edge, nice simple catch. And then McKenzie departs. has played the spinners quite well both here and in India big shout there from Waka Yunus and he's found the edge without even needing to slip big wicket for Pakistan a little bit of reverse swing and Nicky Boy he got it perfectly in the right spot for somebody who's just come to the crease on a good length inviting the drive and Nicky Boy has just arrived, hasn't had time to settle down. It's a good piece of bowling from Wacker Yunus. Just a little bit of movement. You can just see a faint touch. Not cleanly taken by Mohan. He almost dropped that. He was so busy throwing it up that he hadn't caught it yet. But uh, in the end, it all worked out. Six wickets down, 1-9-9 on the scoreboard. 65 to win, 57 balls. One ball in, he's ball in, first ball, he's ball in, he's bowling, Pakistan are back in business. There's a celebration out there at the moment, an unparalleled celebration. Well, he's just shaking his head. He didn't see it, he's had a bad time with the bat. Klusner's gone from being unbelievably effective to going through a really bad patch. Have another look at this dismissal. Well, Wakar coming round the wicket. Didn't God seem to get much swing, but it just went straight through bat and pad, beating him just through the angle. And Klusner really can't believe it. Well, he didn't do much. Just, as I said, came in with the arm and just went through the bat and pad. Well, that's Pakistan in the driving seat. 199, now seven down, South Africa. Pollock, the new batsman, Wakai Yunus walks in, the ground's alive. Played away on the onside. He's got a good temperament too, Sean Pollock. Back for the second, but he's going to have to call on every bit of temperament he's got here because this match now has swung dramatically back in Pakistan's favour. Thanks to the man in your picture now. That's his wife and she's having a ball as well. Boy, the smiles on everyone's faces around here are just unbelievable. They went very quiet there for a while. But uh, Waka, two for 11. Everyone's smiling. Everyone's chanting. Waka must feel a million dollars. He's a born-again bowler. Away he goes now. Steered away into the gap. Calmly. That's the end of the over. Good one too. 202 for seven. Oh, look at that cover drive. It goes screaming through the offside field, and that'll go for four as well. That's a brilliant shot. Boucher is just continuing to play shots, and they all hitting the middle.
Oh, he's hit that well. That's four. That'll relieve the pressure for South Africa. Both these guys play the short ball well. That's not a good delivery. Anything short to either Pollock or Boucher is likely to disappear, and that one did. you've got him well it'll be interesting to see that replay that could be the turning point in this match Sean Pollock out bowled by Waka Yunus excellent temperament by Waka Yunus I thought that was a slow ball Sean Pollock simply missed it again the Experience of Wakar Yunus has made the big difference. So 224 for eight. Oh, that picks the outside edge. Had a little. Just a... That's in the air. This is going to be caught. It's going to be caught. Oh, he's dropped him. He's dropped him. Well, well. He came running in there. He looked as if he had a huge roar in the stadium. After Rizak, such a safe fielder too in normal circumstances. The pressure, the pressure. 33 to win off 22. He's in it for six. He's in it for six. Into the crowd. Into the... What a player he is. This little bloke is dynamite. He's hit that right off the middle of the bat. The ball after being dropped for six. 239 for eight. Nice ball of the over. Can he get a one away here? Oh, he's bowled him. That's it. He's bowled him. He's bowled him. Walker's very last ball. He's bowled Boucher. Well, what a bowler he is. Never gives up. And what an innings by this young man. Mark Boucher has taken his team to the threshold tonight. However, he was just not able to get him there. This was the ball that did the damage. It's a very fine Yorker. And you can see the joy. The venting of all the tension. And here's a wonderful knock by Boucher. A hero's innings. Getting a, getting a standing ovation by the crowd. Pakistan have taken away the Coca-Cola Cup 2000.